Say hello to the platypus, one of the strangest animals in the world. It lays eggs, but it isn't a bird. It produces milk, but it has no nipples. It has a skeleton like a reptile, and it's one of the only venomous mammals on the planet. In addition to all that, it has five times as many sex chromosomes as we humans do. Oh yes, let's talk about platypus sex. First though, a quick overview of sex chromosomes in humans. Our DNA is organised within 23 pairs of these little wiggly looking things, our chromosomes. One pair constitutes our sex chromosomes, which determine the sex we're born as. If both are an X, you're female. And if you have one X and one Y, you're a male. When we humans decide to make a baby human, the chromosomes split in order to create a new configuration with half from each parent. The egg from the mother will have 23 of her 46 total chromosomes, including one of the two X's from her sex chromosomes. The sperm from the father will have 23 of his chromosomes, including either an X or a Y. When the egg and sperm meet, if the sperm carried an X chromosome, it's a girl. If it carried a Y, it's a boy. So it's a fairly reasonable mechanism. It does doesn't need to get any more complicated than that, but it does. Let's return to the platypus. They have 21 pairs of ordinary chromosomes plus 5 pairs of sex chromosomes. That's 8 more total sex chromosomes than us. But there are only 2 sexes of platypus, so why? Just why platypus? Like humans, their sex chromosomes are either X or Y. And again, like us, the female will have all X's and the male will have half X's and half Y's. When it comes time to make a new platypus, the splitting of the female sex chromosome seems straightforward enough. They only have X's, so no matter which of those X's they pass on, 100% will be X's. There are a few caveats here. As you may notice, not all the X chromosomes look the same, but in terms of the percentage split of the X's, there's nothing new here. But with the males, you can see that the sex chromosomes can't be split at random, because then you might get a platypus with three Y's and seven X's, or one Y and nine X's, and so on. So when the male sex chromosomes are forming into sperm, they pay special attention to the order they're in. They start in an alternating chain like this. Then they take every second chromosome. Depending on which one they take first, they'll produce sperm with five X's or sperm with five Y's. Once the egg and sperm meet, if there are 10 X's, it's female. And if there are five X's and five Y's, it's male. There's nothing in between. So that's how the platypus gets around this strange quirk of genetics. But why is it like this in the first place? Do five Y's make the male platypus more sexy? Do the enforced combinations of X's and Y's make the platypus more fit for survival? The answer to these questions is no. In fact, having 10 sex chromosomes is a hazard more than anything else. 190 million years ago, the ancestor of the platypus had a single pair of sex chromosomes, like us. Then, during a single event of platypus reproduction, the pair accidentally swapped pieces with an ordinary pair of chromosomes and passed the chain of their four sex chromosomes on to future generations. This happened again, making a chain of six, and so on. This breaking and rejoining of chromosomes happens all the time. Sometimes the result is unbalanced, which means it'll be harder for the offspring to survive. But the result can also be balanced, which means it'll probably be just as fit as any other platypus and may well pass that mutation through the species. And when these kinds of mutations happen, they can't unhappen. Chromosome breakage occurs at random places, so another break and join won't restore the original pattern. So ultimately, platypuses are stuck with this weird artefact of their evolution. Ah, but isn't that just the story of us all? If you'd like to read more about the quirky side of evolution, there's more to discover at NOVA. Do you like science? We do too. Explore our world and beyond in a beautiful interactive format at nova.org.au. Get curious.